Hello everyone, this is Jonathan from JRC. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a GPS module to your Arduino project, how you can program it and how you can wire it to use the data of your location to trigger some actions in your Arduino project. So watch this video till the end to see how to use a GPS module in Arduino projects. Now concerning the connection of the GPS module to the Arduino board, we start by connecting the VCC to the 5V pin on the Arduino board and the GND which is ground to the ground pin of the Arduino Uno board. Then we connect the TX to the pin number 4 which is RX according to the software serial. Then we connect the RX of the GPS module to the digital pin number 3 which is TX according to the software serial. By finishing these connections we have the hardware done and ready to be programmed. First, you should go to your Arduino IDE. In the Arduino IDE, the first thing that you should do is download the library for the GPS module. There are many libraries, but the one I like the most is Tiny GPS Library. So you should go to Sketch, Include Libraries, then Manage Libraries. In the Library Manager, you should type Tiny GPS in the search bar. And then you should click on the Install button, which is here. But mine is already installed. After installing the library, what you should do is go to the examples that is attached with this library and open it. So we go to files, then examples, and then we go to tiny GPS and open the simple test program. So in the simple test program, as you can see here, we have the software serial included and the tiny GPS library included. Then as you can see here in the software serial, pin digital number four, is the RX and the digital pin number three is the TX. Then what we should do here is change the baud rate of the GPS module that we have. So it is 9,600. And then as you can see here, you can read the program that is included. The main function that we are going to use is gps.f underscore get position. It will fill data in the floats f flat and float long, which are the float for the latitude and longitude. And these are the most important numbers that we are going to use later. So if you want, we can only print the latitude and longitude. So I will comment all these serial.print. As you can see here, I commented all, all the serial.print commands. I will write a serial.println or print first. The latitude is two points, close the quotations. Then serial.println a flat, which corresponds to the float of the latitude, which is filled in the f underscore get position. Then I write another serial.print or I'll just copy them. The longitude. And here we put F long, which corresponds to the longitude float, which is filled in the GPS.F underscore get position. After that, we make sure that the board is connected. So mine is connected to COM4. Then we click on the upload button. I forgot to put the semicolons here, so I added them and I started the uploading process. So done uploading, we go to the serial monitor. As you can see here, it's writing the longitude and the latitude of our location. So we can use these values to record the location of our Arduino project or to trigger a certain action when our Arduino project hits a certain location. If you liked this video and found it informative, don't hesitate to click on the subscribe button for more upcoming Arduino tutorials. Have a great day!